In this tutorial we'll cover the Roof Tool, which is located in the Specialties suite of icons. This tool lets you generate a solid roof from any face of a solid object, surface object, or a wall. It should be noted that this tool always generates a true solid object. Let's see how simple and powerful this tool is. Use the Rectangle Drawing Tool in the 3D Extrude icon to create a solid box. Select the Roof Tool, then click on the top face of the object, and a roof is generated from the boundary of that selected face. While the roof is highlighted orange, we can edit any of the parameters in the tool options, and the roof is automatically updated in the modeling window. We can change the slope by typing in a new value for the rise over the run fields, then clicking a blank area. We can also change the slope as a percentage. Select the type of roof by choosing the cable or the hip option. Moving to the front view, we'll examine the two structure types, solid and shell. If shell is selected, we can have the end of the roof vertical, square, or horizontal, depending on which icon is selected. When solid is selected, the roof is generated as a solid with a surface along the bottom. To better visualize this, we'll use the section tool. And let's cut a section through the shell roof on the left. Click the object, click the front face as our section plane, and we can see as we move that section plane, the shell roof is generated as a shell of uniform thickness. Let's try this on the solid. Click on the front face as the section plane, and as we cut the section, you can see that there is a surface at the bottom in which the solid roof is generated solid throughout. It should be noted that both types generate true solid geometry. And last, located at the bottom of the Tool Options palette, you can change the fascia height and the overhang parameters. The fascia height is the vertical height at the end of the roof, and the overhang is the distance from the selected face to the end of the roof. Simply type a value in the fascia height, then click a blank area, and the model will automatically update. Let's change the parameter for the overhang. We can set this to a distance of zero, which will then generate no overhang. As we type in values, you can either click a blank area, hit the return key, or the tab key to accept the new value, as long as the object is still highlighted orange. Next, we'll show how you can use the roof tool on a 2D shape. For example, select the vector line drawing tool, and with a 2D surface icon active, we'll draw a 2D shape. You can use the guidelines to make sure that all the vector lines align properly. Be sure to click at the start position to generate this as a closed 2D shape. Now select the Roof tool, click on your shape, and the roof is generated. We can also use this tool on the top face of a closed 3D wall. For example, select the vector line tool, and with the 3D wall icon active, we can draw a vector line again using the guidelines and closing the wall by clicking on the start position, and that will extrude into a 3D wall. Select the Roof tool, and notice that we can select the top face of that wall. Click and the roof is generated. That's it. It's just that easy. Next we'll look at some tips that can be useful when using the Roof tool. One technique is to insert segments into your shape to divide the roof into multiple sections. We'll start with a shape that looks like this. Now select the Roof tool, click on the top face, and the roof is generated as a single object. What if we want the roof to be separate pieces? Well, undo the operation, and let's move to the Insert Segment tool. Click on any edge of the object, and we can insert a segment anywhere on the top face of the object. And we have now split the top face into three faces. Go back to the Roof tool, and now you can see we can generate three separate roofs from the three different faces. Now let's look at a technique that is used to customize a roof. We'll create a hip roof on the lower level that is flush with a taller wall. With the Roof tool active, click on the top face of the lower wall and observe that the open boundary is interpreted as a single face, which is not what we want. Undo the operation. We'll have to manually create our own shape. Using the 2D Rectangle tool and the 2D Surface icon, make sure the Insert option is turned off. We will snap to the endpoints, 
of the wall and create our own shape. Now let's use the roof tool on the shape that we just created. We'll need to split this object in half. So we'll go to the vector line drawing tool and we'll create a trimming line. And then we'll go to the slice tool in which we can click on our object, click on the line, and the line will slice right through the object. Now choosing the delete tool, we can get rid of the back of the roof and the trimming line. And now it's just simply a matter of using the reshape tool by grabbing the face of the roof and reshaping it and snapping it to the taller wall. And that's how we can customize our roof. One last tip is that the roof tool can only work on faceted shapes. We'll demonstrate this by creating a shape with a smooth curve in it. Begin by creating a smooth object. Select the circle tool. And with the 3D extrude icon active, we can extrude that into a 3D solid object. And then choose the rectangle tool. And we'll generate a separate object. And then we'll take these two solids and we'll use the Boolean union tool to union them together into a single object. Now let's use the roof tool on this and notice that we get an icon which has a red circle with a slash through it, meaning we cannot select that face for the roof tool. Not a problem, just select the convert tool, click on the object, and change the model type from smooth to faceted. Click OK and the object is converted into a faceted object. Now select the roof tool and now we can choose the top face to generate a roof. And we'll conclude this tutorial with a brief look at numerous roofs that are generated with a single click using Roof Tool. It should be noted that you can pre-pick multiple faces and apply the Roof Tool simultaneously. For example, we can select all these 2D shapes, select the Roof Tool, click a blank area, and the roof is generated for each of the pre-selected objects. And this concludes the roof tutorial.